you mentioned uh, the 2015 Shepherd's Rock, yes. and you mentioned the uh, the awe of God yes. being released. Now, a lot of people these days are very nervous, uh, and it seems to me like there's a lot of mentality that is either or. Yeah. Either uh, the the darkness will get darker and darker, yeah. and oh my goodness, yeah. or uh, the the light will get brighter. But yeah. the Bible says they'll happen simultaneously. simultaneous. Now, uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what you felt like the Lord was saying about releasing His awe yeah. in, in these days? In the, the same question was asked in Isaiah. Isaiah 21 says, Watchman, watchman, what do you see? And he said exactly what you said. I see two things happening simultaneous, light and night. And so that's what's taking place. But here's what the Lord told me. He said, we're fighting from victory, not for victory. When Jesus strung himself up on the cross, he cried out, it's finished. Mm -hmm. That's a farming term, believe it or not. It means everything that should have been done is totally done. Nothing's left undone that needed to be done. Yeah. So everything's finished. And so that's what we're doing. We're fighting from the finished work of Calvary. And I tell you what, John, 1 John 4, 4 says, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. God is really telling his people who they are. Now, the, that's one of the biggest crises that we're in right now is identity crisis. The devil's been doing everything he can to steal away our, our, our understanding of who we really are. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you who we are. 2 Corinthians 5.20, it says, Now are we ambassadors for Christ. Mm -hmm. The word ambassador means a senior representative sent out with authority. Mm -hmm. So I said, God, how much authority do we have? He said, Matthew, 8, Matthew 28, 18, all power, all authority is given to me in heaven and earth. And that's what he's going to do. If we're going to see the awe of God, it's going to be because we're going to operate under the authority of God. And here's the verse he's offering us in 2015. It's Luke 10, 19. Behold, observe, take notice of this. I give you authority to negate the devil's ability. I give you power to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And those two different words, one is authority, one is ability. And so you and I have been given God-given power to stop the devil's ability. You might ask, what is the devil's ability? John 10, 10 says the thief comes but far to steal, kill, decimate, and destroy. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have overflowing abundant life. Mm -hmm. And so God is going to empower his people with a real clear identity of who they are. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you who we are. We're him. Yeah. We're sons and daughters of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. And remember it says the whole creation, Romans 8, 19, the whole creation is groaning and travailing, wanting us to step into our true identity. Yeah. I'll tell you a thing happened to me uh, a few days ago. I live. I have a home in Raven Falls, North Carolina. I was coming down off of my deck, going down to the, the yard, and as I just got to the last step, I stepped and there was a little bunny rabbit, just a little small bunny rabbit, about this big around, maybe this tall, and it started running from me because I almost stepped on it and it was nesting by the step and it took off running it's just running as fast i got the saddest feeling in my heart because the little rabbit didn't understand my intentions mm -hmm. i was not going to harm it one bit but it's it was just and it's fleeing like that and i said out of my mouth i said stop i'm not going to hurt you the little rabbit stopped just like that and so help me god i said come here the little rabbit turned around and hopped, and he hopped within this this far of my foot. My heart's going, kudum, kudum. Now, I'm not afraid of a rabbit, but I'm, I understand something supernatural is going on here. So I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, what's this? He said, oh, that little rabbit knows more about my timing than you do. Yeah, See, awesome. when the kingdom of God is restored back to this earth, they won't be a predator spirit. Come a on. lion can lay down with a lamb, right. and a baby can play with a, a viper and won't be bitten. See, the little rabbit understood more than I did yeah. about God restoring the kingdom. And so the whole creation is Groaning, wanting us to become yeah. who we are. Yeah. But what a time to be alive. God is raising up ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Yeah.